Ladies and gentlemen, now we proceed ahead and there are a few failing of IBN Project Bank guideline efficiency and effectiveness of IBN as an organization. Guideline just unveiled by the Right Honorable Prime Minister. Next is the technology conducted by multidisciplinary experts of upgradation of the existing physical installation, uh, the web-based OSS, that's the one-stop service. investment potential for economic transformation this is all Salute investors distinguished guests affordable and reliable energy and the investment board Nepal itself for which includes investing in the upper Trisuli one hydro project and securing a greener sustainable and prosperous future thank you Salute investors Distinguished guests, presenting this with much honor to Mr. Ya I am pleased to inform you that we have incorporated this spirit, including through mainstreaming SDGs into our national plan and policies and programs. The government has been implementing. The 15th periodic plan with a focus on development and resilience infrastructure. We have made national commitment to, to reach a scenario of zero, net zero greenhouse gas emission by 2045. However, it is easier said than, than done. According to the pre-pandemic estimate around 19 billion US dollars would be required to achieve SDGs. The pandemic and consequences of geopolitical crisis have further, further accentuated this need. <coughs> we plan to graduate from the LDC category by 2026. Our LDC graduation will not be smooth, sustainable and irreversible without the structural transformation of our economy. This makes the investment on infrastructure from both domestic private sectors for investment investors, even more for investors, investor is more important. Opportunities on public private partnership must be further explored and utilized. The IBN has a pivotal role to play in this regard. The board has already approved and a cumulative investment of about 9, mil, 9 billion US dollars for 33 projects. 20 of these projects are related to the development of green and clean energy. Cement Naraini project, Mr. Xiang Chang Hong. Salute investors, distinguished guests. Committed. Now presenting this appreciation in recognition of Progiman, the CEO SJV and Arun Third Power Development Company. <laughs> Half is Lu Giang, the DGM of Huasin Simic, CEO of Upper Trishuli Hydroelectric Project. We now present this appreciation. for promoting business and industry in Nepal to see an of energy project presenting this appreciation to Mr. Janice Swarius, diplomatic missions and the embassies of friends to Her Excellency Ms. Nicola Pollitt, Ambassador of the United Development Goals. 
This is where the sustainable investment on infrastructure.